because I know number one I'm going to come back refreshed and I can hit some heavy weights in the next weeks to come and two I just practice my technique and then I use it very um, for hypertrophy I do a lot of reps and a lot of light weight to get my muscles nice and pumped so it's kind of more it's not a bodybuilding workout but the hypertrophy will carry over and it'll help help build some muscle keep it going and you'll be ready when you come off of your deload to actually go hit some weight so that's what we're doing today try to make this video as fun as we can so with that Let's go. the log the handles like this being able to control the down portion you know the eccentric portion of it, you want to have that stability it's a great great way to warm up your shoulders also saw me do dips that's also mirror I don't bend over too too much it's just it just mimics that log lockout 
So real, real good movements for the log. I felt a lot of carryover for that. Today's just going to be 135. That's when my log weighs empty. Just nice, pretty hypertrophy workout. Hopefully we get a really nice shoulder pump, which is which my favorite. I'm really looking forward to it. And just going through the rest of the workout. All right, let's get after it. All right, shoulders is done as far as it goes with standing log. Uh, I find strict pressing them on my hypertrophy day really, really beneficial. I'm not touching my chest on every single one of them, and I'm not fully locking out on them. I'm getting a good pump through the shoulders. I do stop and, and lock out a lot of those, but it's just like I said before, getting blood to the muscle in that area. But uh, strict press um, has really, really helped my log press or actual cleaning press whatever it is when you strict press it's really helped you know there's a lot of guys that can only push press or split jerk or do things like that there's never ever mark bellow says strength is never weakness so if you can get strong strict press it's just going to carry over very very good very nicely so the rest of my workout i'm gonna go ahead and do my incline log my incline barbell it's light enough i'm just gonna bring my my bench over here roll it up the chest and just go straight from where it's at so let's go Workout's done. Uh, 
a couple things you've seen with that. It was really light today. It was only 135, but I, you found out keeping a good tension on it like that. Like I said, it's just hypertrophy. We're trying to just build muscle and heal our joints and give them a break and just get blood to the muscle. When you lift for a long time, you learn two things. First thing, you learn how to get a good contraction. You get that mind-muscle connection. You can get a lot of work done with light weight. Number two, when the time comes, you can explode and you can lift a lot of heavy weight because you're fully able to contract all your muscles. So all I was doing today is just getting a good pump. But like my old training partner just said, he was actually my only training partner I've ever had, uh, minus my dad. Uh, but he used to always say, turn your shoulders into boulders. And we'd always say, always more, never less. And, you know, obviously I've learned you have to do less now. Uh, got some injuries from it. But anyways, he was a great training partner and he really pushed me. So we're trying to get some boulder shoulders. Trying to get a nice pump, but a good way to end a pump with lightweight, just uh, just like he used to always say. That's all I got for 185 pounds strong, man. I'm going all the way down to 181 this contest, and uh, hopefully next one I'm going to do will be 175, and we'll see where I can go with that. Just got a little more fat to clean up, but staying strong and uh, staying motivated. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Uh, feel free to share it with anybody you can think of or anybody you want to. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Later.